But dexamethasone is a very old drug, very inexpensive drug. It's not a magic drug. It's not a wonder drug. Understand that everybody doesn't need to take it. what this drug is and uh, is this a new discovery or is that something that you have in your practice already been using? Right. So uh, dexamethasone is a very old drug, very inexpensive drug. Okay. it's one of, uh, That's the good part of it. I always love drugs which work, which are cheap. Um, always worry about expensive drugs which work uh, for a few people. Uh, right. But uh, having said that, uh, so dexamethasone, uh, is a steroid and uh, said and it has steroids have been used in ARDS okay whenever there is uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome when there's a damage to the lung uh, it, the, it has, the evidence has been kind of equivocal some studies have shown significant benefit with steroids some haven't shown that amount of benefit in terms of survival uh, in this case the recovery trial which was done in the uh, in England by the NHS uh, used uh, dexamethasone and it has shown to reduce as you said survive, improve survival by 33 percent in ventilated patient and about 25 percent in non-ventilated patients on oxygen and uh, even before this trial this trial was done with steroids because there was evidence that probably in the setting of covid steroids may benefit a subset of patients so already most of us were using steroids uh, different doses, somewhat higher doses than this. And uh, so this is very good news that a basic drug, which is very cheap and expensive, is inexpensive, is showing some degree of benefit. It's not a magic drug. It's not a wonder drug. Understand that everybody doesn't need to take it if they're those who have COVID because like all steroids has its side effects, uh, makes you prone to secondary infections. So it has to be done under medical supervision. How does a drug like this work? Right. So the role in COVID is, is the inflammatory response. Basically, when you have the cytokine increase, so many patients with COVID infections have an increase in the cytokine uh, release of cytokines, uh, which are these uh, chemicals which are released by the body in reaction to the infection. So to a certain extent, if you completely suppress them, there is a problem because you need the immune response to fight the infection but it sh that immune response should not go out of control okay it should not go over overboard so that's what so the steroids kind of at a lower dose modulate this immune response how much exact balance is a, it's a fine balance so in this in this study they used a very small dose of 6 mg other studies have used higher doses not for covid but for ARDS and other settings we expected to a certain extent that this benefit would be right. there with steroid with COVID because of the initial kind of information that we got from our colleagues from abroad seemed to show that there would be benefit. And that's why in India, almost all of us are using steroids in the ICU setting in critically ill COVID patients. Steroids have been used for multiple reasons for a long period of time. So one is that you have immunological disorders where your immune your immune system is at attacking some organs of your own body. There are these are like autoimmune diseases where steroids have been used. Steroids are used in when you have severe allergic reactions, right? So steroids have a very positive role also. Steroids have been used in uh, severe asthma when you have a severe uh, spasm of the uh, you know uh, uh, the airways of the lungs, etc. Uh, steroids, low dose steroids have been used. In, in septic patients, in septic shock, where, uh, you know, so when the blood pressure drops, so low dose steroids. And I think the study also is like it's on a large number of patients, and that's why I think that adds to the excitement level around it, I think, because the, the results have been so positive. See, the two reasons why it's very exciting is large number of patients. Second, done by the NHS, which whose credibility is very, very high across the world right. with all their problems. Third, uh, it doesn't, you know, benefit anybody else but the patient. Uh, it doesn't increase, you know, the price is so low that, you know, the sales of the company or the share of the company is not going to go up just because dexamethasone. And it's produced by multiple companies. It's out of patent. So, so that's the good part. So the conflict of interest that we see in many drugs, many medications which 
which are used in a crisis like this expensive medications that 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 is not there at all and no. that's why the probability that that's this study is a really true good study is very very high